Well, here, uh, to, let's go to the attorneys. First of all, Michael Griffith joining us tonight, international criminal law attorney, joining us from the Bahamas. Meg Strickler, international criminal defense attorney, joining us from Atlanta. And Randy Kessler, defense lawyer, joining us also from Atlanta. Michael Griffith, you are in the Bahamas tonight. You are an expert in international law. And I want your take on what happened today, because here's what I think, all right? Originally, his attorney said he will plead guilty to simple murder but we don't agree that there were aggravators he didn't do this in a cruel matter or a brutal matter but all of a sudden everything changed his attorney tells us he's going to plead guilty to qualified murder that comes with it some aggravators right michael griffith it does and i want to say buenas noches from the beautiful ocean club just oh. on throw from where you covered the anna nicole case i was at um, that courthouse too you're exactly right I'm right down the street from it. Uh, uh, Gene, yeah, you, you know what happened today was the prosecutor gave his, his, uh, his statement uh, regarding what, what, the, um, what the crime should be and what the sentence, leading up to the sentence. And, and I'll, I'll tell you, uh, his lawyer, I think, did a smart thing. He probably told Van der Sloot beforehand, since he's not the sharpest pencil in the pack, uh, that uh, we're not going to give a statement until after the prosecutor speaks. So I suspect what happened was, in the five or six days in between, they'll talk about the aggravators, and they'll have a retort to the prosecutor in an attempt to get a lesser uh, less a sentence. So it was all planned out is what you're saying. Everybody, we want to take you into that courtroom. We want you to hear you're in Vandersloat as he's speaking before a three-judge panel. But by the way, they're all women. Take a listen. How do you plead? Guilty or innocent? Do you accept the charges presented? I want to buy my confession, but I don't agree with the aggravating factors mentioned by the Minister of Justice. So you don't deem yourself guilty according to what the prosecution has stated? Do I have time to think this further? Okay, he's only had, what is it, a year and eight months to think about it, but he needs more time. We have got a lot of callers tonight. I want to go to Tiffany in Tennessee. Hi, Tiffany. Hi there. Thank you for calling. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you uh, letting me speak on your show. Um, the one question I have about the Peruvian's prosecution, do they have enough substantial evidence where they can stop your sadistic, narcissistic, sociopathic tendencies from dragging out this poor, poor um, case for so long? Well, Tiffany, I guess time will tell. Uh, they are back in court on Wednesday, but I want to go to Meg Strickler, international criminal defense attorney, joining us tonight, an expert in international criminal law. Meg Strickler, there is a lot of evidence. It is strong evidence. There is video evidence at the casino with Stephanie Flores. There is evidence at the hotel as they are going into his room. And finally, there is so much blood in that room, Meg Strickler. How is he going to say that he didn't do this in a cruel manner? manner to Stephanie Flores? Well, his ship is sunk when it comes to evidence. You're absolutely right. There's nothing here that has to do with doing a jury trial. So this case is going to end sooner than later. But what, we're, what the defense attorney is trying to do, and the defense attorney is doing what a defense attorney should do, is work the case in a mitigating circumstance and say, look, let's work this out. Let's come up with an agreement that everybody's happy with, and then let's try to get this closed and end it. So right now, they're going to come back on Wednesday and hopefully get, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but they're going to try to negotiate this down to that second degree, that sincere confession that we're all hearing about, and hope that then he's only sentenced to 8 to 30 years. That's what the defense is trying to do, and they may get it. It seems like they may get it because so far there is the door open, and the fact that the prosecution let, or the judge, the judges allowed him to have this delay. They didn't say, okay, you got to enter your plea now. He offered, he said, look, I need some time to think about this. That's very normal. They want to make sure that everybody is happy with how this case ends, and that's what's going on here. But to Howard Oliver, former deputy medical examiner, a forensic pathologist from Los Angeles, here's the problem. This confession has to be sincere. That means honest. It has to be truthful.